January the 31st, 2019. Guys, first video in a few days, uh, just now getting a little bit of voice back. Uh, but anyway, you're looking at the sun, and I paused it here. This was yesterday. One of the few solar flares we've seen in many months because of the uh, solar minimum. And we're going into the end of solar cycle 25. We're about to bottom out at that point. And this could be a sign that we're starting to lift into solar cycle 25. They've been keeping up with these things for a long time. This chart goes back to 1913. Some go back further than that. Just to want to kind of point out what we're talking about. If you look, the peak in our generations has been around 1959, 1960. And it's been going downhill pretty much since then. And that's the number of sunspots each year. And that determines a solar cycle. Now, in solar cycle 25, you notice there's no gray lines because these are speculations. The red and blue line are forecast and simulated predicted sunspot cycles. But uh, more than likely, that's not going to be anywhere near adequate for what we're looking at. I'll show you another chart. They are. I think we've got a lot of scientists involved in this global warming scheme. But anyway, here's what we're dealing with. 11.8 years matches the orbit of Jupiter around our sun has, that has meaning okay now we're looking at sunspot 23 that ended in 09 we just we're ending 24 uh, and uh, here in uh, 2019 you see that guys you got about 11.8 years in these cycles the bottom doesn't stay bottomed out that long they start rising back but what we're seeing and why we're seeing these record colds through the north, it's colder in uh, North Dakota than it is on Mars right now or the Arctic. But it says the current sunspot cycle dubbed as 24 is just ending and has been one of the weakest cycles in a century. In fact, over the last several decades, successive sunspot cycles have significantly weakened in strength and some earlier studies based on simplistic statistical approaches have claimed a significant weakening of the sun's activity is imminent, resulting in a loss of sunspot cycles. Now, that could be happening, but how do you determine when the sun is about to go back into a sunspot period where it's climbing back up in the number of sunspots and number of flares? Guys, the magnetic poles of the earth of the sun, excuse me, flip every eleven point eight years. Now the Earth doesn't do that. It could take millions and thousands sometimes. But every 11.8 years, these magnetic lines start changing. Let's look at something else. Look at the bottom chart. It goes back to 1870, up to the present time here. Now, 2010, you can see that's a sunspot we're coming out of the 24 cycle. It's not quite ended. It will be going into 25. You look at the other end of this chart, 1870. These sunspots were very low. As a matter of fact, 24, which we're in now, and sun, spot, uh, sun cycle 12 right there, is almost the same in amplitude. Look at that. And what happened before that, it was even lower in sun uh, cycle number 11. Now, during that time, in number 11 and 10, that goes back into before 1870, guys, what happened during that period of time? And that's why it's important. We know our shields are weak. As we go back up into a solar cycle, they will strengthen somewhat, but not the way they were as far as looking back at these stronger cycles. In 1859, during this minimum that we're about to see repeat, the Carrington event happened on September 1st and the 2nd. Guys, this thing wiped out the grid in the United States. If it were to happen again, it would be a total blackout. It was a powerful geomagnetic storm during cycle 10, okay? You see 11 and then 10's not on the chart. But during that time, because our shields were so weak, suddenly sun activity picked up. If it picks up with weak shields, the Earth is twice as vulnerable to the effects of coronal mass ejection, solar flares, gamma ray burst, things like that. Now... The gamma ray burst is interesting to me because it, one of these happened. It's called 1806 20 GRB. That stands for gamma ray burst. And scientists watched it. 
as it hit the shoulder of our atmosphere. It stripped off and ionized a large portion, one of the largest holes ever detected in the Earth's atmosphere. At the time, it was causing the Sumatra quake. That is going to be part two of the series that I started before I lost my voice and had to go into the hospital with that flu. But, uh, guys, it looks like a, with the sun activity in the last week or so, we may be starting to rise out of that dip. Now, that's not going to be the end of winter and these cold uh, events like we're having now. And you got, and think about it. The scientists and Al Gore and mainstream media is pushing global warming. Why? They're looking at the some of the melting of the ice glaciers in the Arctic and Antarctic. But guys, during solar minimum, like we had last summer, even the 60 degree days, you would be so sunburnt if you were out in the sun, even in the springtime, remember, for the last couple of years. So you can have the sun intense, but with weak shields, the earth is affected way more. So what they're using is, as the energy from the sun hits our magnetic shields, which go in through the North Pole, come out of the South Pole of our planet, basically, then that ice is exposed to that same radiation that burns your skin. We're not in global warming. Ask the folks in Grand Forks, North Dakota, where it was 75 below for the wind chill for the last couple of days. But anyway, it looks like we may be starting to climb back into cycle 25. It's going to be very interesting because, again, with weak shields, it uh, you're going to have a pickup of quakes and other events like that. If we were to have a Carrington event type solar explosion, X, uh, X flares, then our grid will come down. There's no way it's outdated in so many places. And it, not just in the U.S., it could be worldwide. Talking about ca uh, kingdom going into darkness, that would shut 5G down. But guys, we're watching it. You watch it. Um, try to get better and get some more videos up. It's a heads up. Be safe.